Okay, so we've got unwanted spaces within tables in Microsoft Word. And I'm going to look at five different reasons why this may be the case. Well, the first reason is that you've got an empty carriage return somewhere within a row. Easy way to spot that is if you go to the Home tab on your ribbon, you go to this Show Hide button, you're looking for this character here. If you see it within a cell, that's probably the cause of the extra space that you have within that particular row. And it's just a matter of backspacing the carriage return and it should get rid of the unwanted space. Second reason is that the row height has been manually altered and that's really easy to fix. I want to adjust this row's height. What I'm going to do is place my mouse pointer over the bottom border of the row and you'll see I get a mouse pointer with two arrows, one pointing up, one pointing down. Hold down my left mouse button and drag up. Third reason. Now you can see that we have extra spacing within every cell within this table. So I'm going to select the whole table. You can do that by clicking in the table and then clicking on this little handle top left. Then I'm going to go to the layout tab on my ribbon. Where it says cell size, I'm going to click on this little launcher. I'm going to go to row and I'm going to untick specify height. Click on OK and it gets rid of those extra spaces. Now, if that doesn't work, what you want to do again is select your table, go to home, and then in the paragraph group, click on this paragraph launcher and you want to make sure that there's no paragraph spacing. You can see here I've got a spacing of 18 points after each paragraph. And if I take that down to zero, click on OK, it should sort the problem. Now, last option, if none of those methods work, select the whole table, go to Layout, where it says Cell Size, click on the Launcher, go to the Table tab, go to Options, and look at your cell margin settings. Here I've got a bottom cell margin of 0 0.45. If I reduce that to zero, click on OK, click on OK, should sort the problem. Now I can't guarantee that I've covered every single reason why you may have unwanted spaces in the table. If you know of any others, please put them in the comments of this video. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.